Hey, Trump administration reverses course and adopts part of the Biden vaccine distribution plan. Now, this is going to be outrageous. You're not going to believe this story. I'm just going to tell you, this is kind of stunning. Now, just so you know, they've taken down channels on YouTube who used facts to go against the official narrative about COVID. You're not allowed to go against the official narrative, even though Dr. Fauci has been proven to be lying. So Dr. Fauci lied about masks. And if you went against, he said, don't wear masks. So if I would have came out and said, you should wear masks when he was saying don't, they could have taken our channel down because they would have said I was going against the, even though I was right. And when Dr. Fauci came out and said we needed 60 percent people to get the vaccine for herd immunity, he was lying and he knew he was lying. And if I would have corrected him, they could have taken me down by saying that I was going against the official. The official narrative is lying. Even if you point that out, that you can't do that. So you're not going to believe what's happening. OK, so get this. Uh, Trump administration reverses course and adopts part of Biden's vaccine distribution plan. The Department of Health and Human Services announcing announced sweeping changes in vaccine rollout guidelines in an effort to boost the lagging number of vaccinations in the first month. So not a lot of people that they haven't been getting the vaccines out to people fast enough and effectively adopting the approach proposed by president elect Joe Biden. So Joe Biden. So just so you know, you have to get two doses uh, with with the Pfizer drug. You ha it has to be spaced out 21 days with the other drug. It has to be. So with the vaccines, they have to be spaced out 21 days. You have to get one shot and then another shot. And then if you're getting the other vaccine, you have to get a one shot and then another shot 29 days later. So that's what that that's what. So now what they're saying, and I'm going to show you this, but what they're saying is so they would give some people the first vaccine shot and then they would reserve some to give them the second one because you have to get it. Well, what Joe Biden has been saying is just give everybody their the first round, even though we won't have any left over to give them the second. Just give it to them. That's not science. Well, here, I'm going to show you. The Trump administration plans to release reserved second doses immediately a senior administration official tells cnn the official expects reserved doses to be distributed over the next two weeks so instead of reserving the second doses for the people who got the first one they're just giving it out to everybody as a first dose leaving us without a second dose do you see what's going on Hey, I know it's been shitty so far, folks, but don't worry. The guy who wants to do something about climate change by 2050 is taking over. So I'm sh super sure. The move comes after Trump administration officials recently disparaged Biden's plan to do the same. They said if President-elect Biden is calling for the distribution of vaccines, knowing that there would not be a second dose available, that decision is without science or data and is contrary to the FDA's approval approved label. That is a fact. There is no science or data to back this up, and it goes against the FDA's own approved label on that vaccine. That's a fact. If President-elect Biden is suggesting that the maximum number of doses should be made available, consistent with ensuring that a second dose of vaccine will be there when the patient shows up, then that is already happening. Huh? So they're saying... If President Biden is saying we need to make sure the maximum doses are available while ensuring that a second dose is available for those people who got the first one, that's what we're doing. But that's not what they're saying. The Trump administration had previously balked at releasing all available doses. So the so just so you know, the FDA says this is not the way to do it. So this is from January 4th. What was the FDA saying on January 4th? The FDA says people need both doses of the coronavirus vaccine. That's what people, that's what the FDA was saying on January 1st. Top officials from the FDA said anyone who receives the reserved vaccine needs both doses. Dismissing the idea of stretching the supply by allowing just one dose or cutting doses in half. So the FDA has already addressed this head on and said, no, don't do this. You know, if the United States ran a government ran a shoe store, there'd be a bunch of people walking around with one shoe 
because, you know, budgetary disputes. <laughs> That's what this is. We're going to give a bunch of people one shoe. <clears throat> Suggesting changes to the FDA authorized dosing or schedules of these vaccines is premature and not rooted solidly in the available evidence. Without appropriate data supporting such changes in vaccine administration, we run a significant risk of placing public health at risk, undermining the historic vaccination efforts to protect the population from COVID-19, an FDA official said. Well, what has changed? I'll tell you, nothing. So you're telling me the government isn't listening to science? I can't imagine it. <laughs> Go frack yourself. The available data continue to support the use of two specified doses of each authorized vaccine at specified intervals. For the Pfizer Biotech COVID-19 vaccine, the interval is 21 days between the first and second dose. And for the Moderna COVID-19, the interval is 28 days between the first and second dose. Not 29, 28. That's what the science says. That's what the FDA says. That's what the label says on the vaccine. It's understandable that people may want to stretch the vaccine supply, they said, but it's not advisable. Because, you know, we measure out our doses for a reason. It's because um, that's how much of the vaccine you need. <laughs> the coronavirus is surging across the United States. More than 200,000 new coronavirus cases have been reported Every single day over the past week, the United States has averaged more than 3,200 reported deaths every day over that period due to COVID. New guidelines, new guidelines released on Monday by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now note that while people should get their second shots as close to the recommended three-week or one-month interval as possible, there is no maximum interval between the first and second doses for either vaccine. That does not sound like science. Saying there's no maximum, because they didn't test that. There's no been no... They tested it at 21 and 28 days. That's the science. This update perplexed experts. No evidence yet exists to clearly support the strategy. This update. So this update that they did Monday by the Centers for Disease Control, this update, this update perplexed experts. No evidence yet exists to clearly support this strategy. They will need to back this up with data, said Marion Pepper, an immunologist at the University of Washington. They're not. FYI, they're not backing this up with data. The new distribution plan is a reversal for the administration, which had been holding back roughly half of its vaccine supply, millions of vials, to guarantee that the second doses would be available, like the science says. The administration said it was expected to make the shift when it was confident in the supply chain. Both vaccines authorized in the United States so far require two doses, 21 days apart for the Pfizer and BioNTech and 28 days apart for the one from Moderna. In response to queries about dose delays, representatives from both Pfizer and Moderna have repeatedly pointed to the company's clinical trials. And what do those clinical trials say? That two doses of the vaccine are required to provide the maximum protection against the disease, a vaccine efficacy of 95%. Who said that? Stephen Daney, a spokesman for Pfizer. He said that earlier this month. There are no data to, de there are no data to demonstrate that, that protection after the first dose is sustained after 21 days. So they're not following the science, you guys. 
This is not science. Just like when Dr. Fauci said that about masks, it wasn't science when he said, don't wear a mask. That was not science. It was not science when he said 60% of the people need to get vaccinated for us to have heard. That was not. He said that for months. This also is not science. According to the experts. This is according to the New York Times experts. I'm quoting the New York Times experts. I'm not making this up. This isn't from some rando website that nobody ever heard of. This is mainstream New York Times quoting experts saying the way they're doing this is not backed up by science. So the Biden and Trump administration combined to figure out how to screw up the vaccine administration. They figured out how to screw it up. We finally got a vaccine and they have figured out how to make it not work. This is amazing. Here's Joe Biden. President Trump doesn't care about you. He doesn't even care about his own supporters. Joe Biden says nothing is going to fundamentally change. And boy, he wasn't kidding. Here's here's Joe Biden saying, here's my promise to you. If I have the honor of being elected president, I will take care of your family like I would my own. And he's going to distribute the vaccine via Amtrak, I guess. This idea that things are going to get better when Joe Biden is president, instead of continuing to get worse every day of your life from here on out, is a fantasy. America will continue to decline every day Joe Biden is president, every single day. And Kamala Harris will not be able to beat the right wing strongman who's going to come in and tap into the anger of the people that the Democratic Party has abandoned. It's not going to take much. You're going to get a much worse Trump in 2024 and every day of your life under Joe Biden will be worse than the day before. Congratulations. Third party. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program, get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.